I actually started uh, with Pinch Cut Opera in the chorus while I was still studying. My first opera with Pinch Cut was uh, Judith the Triumphans and I was later in Idomeneo. And I remember uh, seeing some of our Aussies who had been overseas or who were now based overseas. I remember seeing them and thinking, wow, that's what I want to do one day. The wonderful thing about Pinch Cut Opera, which is a pretty unique thing among opera companies, is that that association didn't end when I left to go overseas. Pinch Cut actively stayed in touch with me. I stayed in touch with them. And when I was sort of at the point where I was uh, ready to finish with my studies and ready to take the stage again, I was invited back to join the cast as a principal. Um, it's not only an honour to be able to go out into the world uh, and study and gain knowledge and then um, blossom, but it's also such a joy when there's an acknowledgement of that uh, from your home and people are keen to get you to come back and to share your newly found knowledge. If we just train people in the chorus and then send them on their way, it's a bit of a false economy. But if you invest in somebody from the beginning, then uh, being with them throughout their entire career it really starts to pay dividends. So uh, it's thanks to the people who support Pinch Cut Opera that I am here today and I've been flown back to be part of this wonderful production.